Yo guys, what is up? This is Scammers from Menudops coming back at you with another episode of Discord.py. Except today we're going to be teaching you how to host your bot, you know, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 360. I didn't do math in school days a year. So, first up, I just want to introduce uh, everyone's favourite subtle plug to our series, and that is that this uh, episode is proudly sponsored by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Thanks for the hookup for the server. Now, with reliable hosting what is quite possibly some of the best prices I've seen on the internet, you should look no further when trying to find somewhere to host your bot, website, you know, whatever. Who am I to judge? But, regardless, we'll jump into the episode, and you should have been emailed a link. Uh, this will take you to the online dashboard. It's vps.oxide.host. Now, my details autofill, but, you know, you just put yours in there, you can log in. And then you'll be able to see all the VPSs that you have access to. So, pretty simple really, pretty simple stuff. So we're just going to go in here and click manage. Now, you can explore this as much as you'd like, but the main thing we want is this IP address, which is where our server lives on the interweb. You know, the connection of cables that run around the entire world. Now that we've got the IP, we're going to open up a program called PuTTY. Now you can download PuTTY, uh, the link will be in the description below, just download it, set it up, you'll be good. And now we're going to put the IP in here, we're going to call it uh, my VPS. Click save, double click to connect. Now you'll notice a potential security breach, that's fine, just click yes. Now we're going to log in as root, press enter. Now you'll get the password in the email, so you just right click to paste because that's how passwords work, and then you'll notice you'll be in. Now that's us, we're good to go. So first up, there's a couple commands you want to run. So go apt get update which will go along and fetch all the updates required and then we're going to do upgrade to run them. Now I'm just going to get that out of the way now and we're going to run that in the background while I'm transferring all our files over. So we're going to run another console window here just while that's running in the background because this will take a while. Upgrade. And so that just sort of upgrades all your packages you know make sure as you're running the latest version. Yes I do not mind that you are taking up all of my space. I'm going to log in as root, put my password back in. And now on this right hand screen, I'll put it over here just so you know you're not confused by the stuff in the background. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing now is I'm just going to install our own user. So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to go quite simply, we're going to go add user, pick a username guys, I'm going to pick my own name. Now you're going to need a password, so I'm going to go scammers is cool. Scammers. Is cool. Cool, good. And now you don't have to put any of these details in. Just click enter until it says, is the information correct? Click yes. Boom, you're done. Really simple stuff. Now we're just going to go user mod to give it pseudo perms. A G pseudo. Put the username in. Boom, done. Simple stuff. That should be all we need from that. In the background, there's a lot of updates going on, so I just want to go yes. Stop asking me please, just do whatever you need to do. Now normally they're not this big, but uh, it's just because it's, you know, it's a fresh install, it's just how, how it rolls. And so now we're going to open up another uh, SSH connection. So we're going to log in as our own username this time. So we're going to go scammers is cool. Cool, look at that, we're on our own, uh, own overview. Now just some quick Linux overview I want to just run over. Is so to list all the files in the current directory you press ls so there's currently nothing in our directory which is all good we're going to transfer it over in a minute to show all the hidden files you are ls dash a and you notice there are actually files in our directory you just can't see them because you've got a full stop in front of them so let's get some files to work with before we can continue right so we're going to pull up a program called file zilla zilla apparently Filezilla. Third time lucky guys, third time's a charm. Same for recording this episode actually. <laughs> um, so we're going to click this, open the site manager up top here. We're going to make a new site. We're going to go back to our website, get the IP again, go back to Filezilla, paste it in. We're going to select SFTP, which is SSH file transfer. Put in our username. Put in our password. Hit OK. And then you can just hit this little drop down arrow. I want to connect to my site. Enter your password. Oh, yeah, you can save it under a name as well, guys. I just <laughs> skipped that part. 
So now it's going to connect, it's going to use username, it's all good, look, boom, we're in. And so now I'm just going to transfer one of our, one of our episodes over. So what do we want? We want episode 9. So we're just going to click and drag, really simple stuff, you know, just click, drag, boom, done. So now we're just going to wait for those files to transfer over. And while we're waiting for that, I just want to go over a couple of other things and that using root, um, as we're doing here, isn't the most secure way to do it because root is essentially admin. If you're root, you can do literally anything. So what we're going to do once we finish upgrading all of this stuff is we're going to go ahead and disable root login over SSH. You know, just make it that, that bit more secure because you know, security is key. Um, but now you notice all of our files have transferred over. And so this is the sort of file layout, you know, you've got right at the top and then you've got home. And then in that home, you've got your user, any, any users you make will be in here. So then this is all good. Yes, I would like to keep that. Yes. 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 Now that, that won't normally happen when you upgrade, it's just, um, the server I've been provided by Nick and because it's using a couple of internal things as far as I'm aware. But it's all good. So now we're just going to keep doing that in the background and I'm going to pull up my current one. So you know, so press Alice now. We've got a folder. So the way it works with spaces as well is if you want to put a, a, a space in a file name, you need to do it in quotes. Um, but we can go CD to change directory and then we're just going to go press this episode. Um, and then you can just press tab to autocomplete and now we're in that in that file. So look, bam, look at that, we've got we've got it. And then quite simply put, you want to go back up and you do CD dot dot. C D episode nine. Now I do need to um install Python, you know, because look, watch this. Oh damn, we don't have it. Did you mean Python through grenade? No, I want uh sudo app to get installed. Python, a Python, 3.8, bang, need to put your password in, this is cool, yep, yeah, sweet, thank you, install Python, and then what we're just going to do after this is we're just going to go install pip for Python 3, and then after that we are all good to go, dash pip, And now because there's multiple versions of Linux on here, what you're going to want to do when you're installing is you're actually going to want to call it Python 3.8-m pip install. That way you can guarantee you're installing it for the correct version. Because otherwise, you know, it might install for the pre-installed binary, which is 3.6.6, .6, I think it is. We can check in a minute by just going here and going Python. So that's what it defaults to. So you have to be really explicit in your typing. So you'd want to go Python 3.8-m install and so on but we're on root at the moment and we don't want to do that but now that we're finished on root I'm just gonna go control D to disconnect and that's how you do that so now we're just gonna wait for pip to install um, but essentially anything you want to install is just like how you've been doing it on uh, your local host so it's just pip install package name We'll just open up another connection while we're waiting and I can showcase the screen. Scale news. Scale news is cool. Cool, so something I want to showcase in Ubuntu is the usage of screen. So this terminal here when we're running something in it, it can be a bit, well let's just say iffy in the fact that anything you run on this screen here, the moment you close this tab, like the moment I do this, Anything that was running on there will stop working. So like I, I can go to Python 3.8, bot.py. You'll notice I won't have anything installed, so it'll fail. Oh, how do I solve that? Python 3.8, dash m, pip install, discord.py. Um, dun, 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 dun. Wow, never would have known that would have worked. Installing collected packages, bam, we're good to go. Pretty sure we don't have any more requirements. Sweet, look at that. That was too easy. Let's jump into the recording tab, you know. What's our prefix again? Help. Cool. 
that is not the prefix for the one that I'm wanting to run. So I'm just going to quickly control C to cancel it, you know, in the task if you don't have a logout command, and then you can go cat bot.py. And cat just lets us view the file on terminal. So what's our what's our prefix up here? Get underscore prefix when mentioned or hyphen. Cool. So we can run it with a hyphen now. Sorry. There we go. And then all we have to do quite simply now is just pop under here and go dash help. Boom. Could be working. Wow, would you look at that? Looks like we've got a custom prefix, guys. Did not think that would have transferred over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Alice and then we're gonna go into Alice, bot underscore config. And then we're gonna quickly just go cat config dot oh, we've got a prefix as Jason. Sorry, we're working out of the wrong underscore directory here. What is it? It's an exclamation mark, which is cool because apparently it's not working. But that's alright. I just wanted to showcase that this doesn't work. So it's working perfectly fine on here, you know. Help. Yada yada yada. Should be showing episode 9 commands, but it's not. Um, it's because we're running two bots at the same time. There's a bit of double offs and things. But essentially what I just want to show is that the moment I close this, close that, that's going to stop running. So now instead of running dual instances here, yes I know it's not showing it, but there are two instances running here, they just happen to be running the same code. Um, this is now just going to be one. So this is actually just one now, so it's only, it's only this running now. The one that was just running that we're running on our server is no longer working. So the way to fix that is we're going to run it in a screen. Essentially that will mean is we're just going to go screen. Well, we don't have it, so we're going to sudo apt install screen. Too easy. CD. Fold we want to go, and then we're gonna go Python 3.8 bot.py. Bam. And now that when this works, it's gonna work fine. So we we can we can close the connection down. And this is gonna work Gucci. So that'll run. That bot's gonna to continue to run even though we've exited it now. But what if you wanna like go in and you know close it? So we're gonna go back to our VPS. We're gonna go and this is cool. Now to show the running screens, you know, to reconnect, we're gonna go screen dash dash list. See, we've got run running. But like, I don't understand what's running on there. It's just a dot pts zero. What's that meant to mean? Screen begin, and then we're gonna go one seven eight one dash x session name, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna give it a name called menu dot. Now we notice when I run it, it's, it's called MenuDoc, so I can do screen, dash dash r, and you can reconnect with the number uh, to disconnect without ruining your screen. It's control A and then control D to detach. Um, and then you can also get screen dash r, and then you can go on the name. So that's cool. And to end it, you just um, cancel when you're running, running tasks, and then you can just do control D, and that will terminate your screen. And that's pretty much all you need to know with regard to that. And now one last thing that I want to do before I hit off this episode is I want to disable root. Because as I was telling you before, it's pretty notorious for security holes. So we're just going to go sudo nano, which is a text editor. And we're going to go to this directory, ssh, and we're just going to remove the login permissions for root over ssh. And so now you notice we've noticed it, we've opened it in now terminal, we're going to scroll down, pium, pium, pium. permit root login, I want to set this as no, control s to save, control x to exit, we need to restart the service, this is restart, boom, done, problem solved, now if I detach and we open PuT again, Quickly drag this over here so I can log in on the side. 
grammar details, you'll now notice that root is not working. Access denied, and that's how you do it. It's really that simple, guys. So, that should be all you need to know for, you know, setting up your bot, getting it ready to run 24-7. If you need more details, we've got a nice blooper episode coming out for uh, how to host your bot. It's probably about half an hour long. It goes really into depth with everything. I install stuff. I use requirement.txe. I install pip. I uninstall packages. I show you how to do pretty much everything. So this episode was just a nice quickie, you know, get you set up. But if you really need that extra help, you know, jump in the Discord or just watch that video. It covers a lot more things. It goes a lot more into depth and it also shows the reality of programming. This episode was a quick one. I've tried to do it so there's less errors. But in reality, you've got big projects. There's going to be errors. That's what I showcase in the actual blooper video. But besides that, guys, happy hosting. You know, go out there, host your bots, code your bots, host them 24-7 and enjoy. I'll see you in two weeks' time. Peace out, y'all.